You're watching Pegarai TV, Rhode Island's public access channel. Oh, you didn't know? to the hot tag uh, yeah. brought to you by the official wrestling museum we are your hosts i am angel and i'm joined by the official wrestling museum's hall of famer molai <coughs> and we are here this week before we get started we just want to send our thoughts and prayers out uh to seeker who passed away and his family as well through this time um you know it, it's life happens and people go um but when anybody does go and especially when they in the world of entertainment and the, the pop, you know publicize so much, it, it's a big, big loss, especially with the Samoan family right now. That's yeah, biggest family in wrestling. So it is to be quite honest with you. They they really monopolizing things in in a positive way. Um, so we do thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys tune in all week to all our different shows. We have off the ropes um, that we're going to be talking about money in the bank this past. Uh, weekend, weekend before, I don't even know what day we're taking. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're going to be talking about that. we got four corners coming up. Uh, Figures are us. We're talking about PWI magazines, a very popular magazine as well, too. And, that we've uh, been in. Huh? That we've been in. Yes. We've been in there. We've been. That is true. <laughs> and then uh, we still got free preview going on. Um, a great story uh, yeah. that you shared and um, you know, I was curious if people would be interested in it and um, just from our YouTube channel if you go to official wrestling museum YouTube channel just search that uh, a lot of people have watched it so. yeah and it's it's a something you know not because it's a, a, a cheap plug for it or because it has to do with you it's very educational and if you're not in that particular situation, I can guarantee you can relate something that you're going through personally or know someone that's going through it, and you can relate to it. And it's a really good eye-opener. And sometimes in life, you just need that extra, that extra thought, that extra uh, wisdom, you know yeah. what I mean, or somebody and else's I, story. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's the right term, but I enjoyed talking about it in the sense of um, it had been few years maybe before or since the last time <clears throat> that I kind of had a full-on discussion like that and I was able to give my different feelings of how I feel now and I was a little more open about myself as opposed to other times when it, the sh I think the shield was up so yeah it was good good, good. I'm glad so this show here is based on you guys because well you guys we can't have this show and you guys sending these questions and we have the honor to answer them to our best of our ability so do you want to jump in yeah, today sure. yeah. we'll give you the honor and stuff shake it all about all right you know what i may do here so oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cheat i just took out a bunch so i don't have to keep reaching <laughs> you know we i think this is number 16 this episode right now I have been waiting for him to do this. For him to get to the 16th episode, that is huge. You're coming a long way. What is your all time? <coughs> now, luckily, I have an appointment uh, this week for uh, your eye doctor. Eye doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Which I desperately need glasses. <coughs> I was going to get your, your magnifying all glasses. Time... <laughs> Does that say favorite? I, I don't know. I would assume. Favorite. What is your all-time favorite title belt? 
So for me, uh, the Intercontinental title. Which one? The one the Macho Man held. Uh, Ooh, um, yeah. Uh, you know, Bret Hart held. But, but the one the Macho Man held, Tito Santana held it. Um, that belt to me is the, my favorite belt. But also, it, the WWF logo at the top is red. And later on down the line, like when Bret Hart holds it and Shawn Michaels, it's not. It's just gold. I think that the red stands out. So for me, that if I had to pick one belt, I just love the design of that belt. It's yeah, this is kind of tough because that classic Intercontinental title that you're talking about um, is my gold two title. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna be Devil's Advocate on it, and I'm gonna say the Wind Eagle title. Um, we did. I mean, we did do we, a yeah. four corners of the belts. We did. Uh, so if you go back and check it out, and both of those oh, are right there. I think one and two. <coughs> yeah. So. Um, yep. I, I, those er, those WWF titles from the eight, mid '80s to mid '90s were the the, were the go-to's of yeah. what wrestling is and stuff for championship belts. <coughs> Cheetah. All right. Let's see. Was Kelly Kelly a good wrestler? No. <laughs> My answer is simply no. She was very young. Um, she wasn't supposed to be a good wrestler. <coughs> I mean, she, you know, I, th I think, uh, first off, I know she was in the WWECW, is what I call it, the WWF's version of ECW, and I never understood why is her name Kelly Kelly. Like, that's stupid to me. That'd be like if a guy's name was like uh, John John, and that's his last name. You know, I know there's John John Tom, Tom but like John John or... Fred, Fred, like I yeah, just I knew some of those Will, William Williams. Was yeah, his name. it's just that was stupid to me. Um, to be honest, I was never really guy. into Kelly. Look wise, yeah, she was good looking, but I never was really into her so, as a worker <coughs> or as a character. She started as Miss Hancock in WC. No, 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 that was Stacey Keebler. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Kelly Kelly you know started with the. Uh, and I take that back. Kelly Kelly was, was doing the expose. Yes, yes. And then she did like so, Mike Knox. Yep. Uh, no, she was with right. Mike Knox and so I think, Boss Mahoney. To talk about. Well, yeah, the wrong person there. Well, it? no, because I was trying to think of where like the Kelly Kelly name in the evolution of her. Yeah. And I don't know why I. Wow. Yeah. It must be the ice tea. I drinking. think they're comparable though, because Miss uh, Hancock, you know, started out I thought, as a nitro girl. I thought Kelly Kelly improved over time. Um, would I say absolute greatest, you know, in ring competitor? No. Um, definitely marketable. Um, the name was kind of odd, but I think during that time frame, I think it kind of fit like all the different TV shows and different things going on, and I think that's what, I, I thought it was kind of odd though, that her name was Kelly Kelly. Yeah, I she could never that. shorten it Isn't to just she, Kelly. Like, if she, she was signing to, it. She went on to like date test and, um, I, don't, I don't, yeah, I would say no. She, I mean, she'll, will she be memorable? I guess if you watched TV at that time, but at the same time, <clears throat> I could totally see someone saying, who, who was that? I could see yeah. that too, so. Yeah, I don't think she's that, Forgettable. I mean, if you didn't watch within that time frame of like 2006 to, I don't know, 2010, I don't know what time she stopped. If you didn't watch in that time, you'll you'd never know who she was. Like, yeah, but you she's know, not someone that they go back in time. I mean, I, I know she's come back and done some rumbles and yep. stuff, but that's because they desperately well, need any female they can get. Now, if you had, if somebody said to you, well, hey, do you remember Kelly Kelly? You're going to Google Kelly Kelly's name because it's a memorable name, because it's the same name repeated, yeah. over, uh, I don't know, some random weird name. Joy Giovanni. Yeah. I just picked her because yeah. that's the only one I you know You know what I mean? Like the, she's from Boston. Though, right, right, like the fans are going to, you're not going to stop and Google that. You're going to Google I Kelly think, Kelly. Here's what I think of Kelly Kelly, ultimately. <coughs> I think we've talked about her more than anyone else <laughs> and more than she should have been. I don't think... I just she was very over with the fans though and kids. She so. was, she was, and surprisingly with younger kids. Yeah, my my oldest, that was her first favorite wrestler, was Kelly Kelly. The story with her and and, Ball, and and Mike Knox and Balls Mahoney was 
a pretty like at the time of that horrible ECW version, that was really one of the and CM Punk got involved. I think yeah. too. That was not a bad storyline, but whatever. She was not a good wrestler. Okay, what chant is bigger, Yeet or what? This is pretty good because um, that is a good one. They just <clears throat> had a Yeet and what off. Um, I, you know what? In all honesty, I. I think what won out this weekend, but it was in Canada. Um, I, I, you know what? I did the same for me. I think that did the two. You what? Oh, you wait. I'm thinking of LA Knight. That, yeah, I'm you're sorry. thinking. Yeah. See, that, I just rubbed off on you. I was thinking <laughs> of LA Knight. So okay, I'm gonna. Yeet is still brand new. What? Yeah. Has been going on for. Yes. 20 years, yeah. and I can't I think what, stand it. I never could stand <coughs> it. I'm sorry. I thought, I thought it was the, yeah, because they did just do that this weekend. And yep. I think I was saying, yeah, I think that won out this weekend because I, Canada just was super into LA night. And I yeah. think that it just depends on region with that. And I, but I think out of the two, which one is going to last longer? I, you know what, Yeet's going to, I don't think Yeet is going to last as long as what? No. I think once Jay Uso is done. With the Yeet, that's, that's going to be it That'll be him. it for Yeet. Whereas what has stuck around for 20-something years yeah, now? Yeah, and what is something that you can go to any single day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think what is definitely. I guarantee you when they came up with, when he came up with that, what? That they did not think it was going to last as long as it no, has. absolutely not. I, and I'm pretty sure. 99.9% of people, I can't even say that because the people love doing it, but most people probably also wish it hasn't stuck around. Yeah, because sometimes it just goes on for too long and you can't really gather. But the problem is with the person that's cutting a promo. If they cut a promo to the cadence where that's allowed, then you're welcoming it, you know? Right, that is true. <clears throat> very, very true. Now imagine if the question was, what's bigger? The what or yes? That's another one. That now that one would be, I think, a little tougher. I still think what will go over, but four, yes, maybe a four, maybe a uh, future four corners of it could be. Catch yeah, catch that's a, that would be a good one. All right, Hank from North Province, Rhode Island. Does the oh, music... I've been forgetting to give people that credit. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. A little off today for this episode. Yeah. Uh, does the official wrestling museum plan to induct Oscar into their Hall of Fame? Um, so I know in the process of trying to get everybody and what they were looking for, they did try to reach out to Oscar, yeah. um, but it did run into a dead end with the leads that they had. Um, they have talked to Mo about it, um, but Mo's had some health issues. He's doing a lot of things with the community base. Um, so I, I want to say, they're opposed on having them. Um, it's just right now hasn't been the time. Do you remember? Because <laughs> he was not. Okay, so Oscar, the thing with Oscar was they said that like, oh, sorry about that. Oscar I have, was uh, excited there. I have a couple family things going on, so. Do you, if you need um, to take no, that, no, you it's can okay. step aside. No, no, it's okay. It, that was actually an alarm to pick up my son from school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. Just stand the but street corner. Yeah, He'll we, be there I in a little have, bit. Do Don't have, worry about a thing. Yeah, I do have some family issues <laughs> at the moment. But, so anyway, um, talking about Oscar, um, he, I guess, I, if I remember correctly, he got the job and he was like rapping. Vince McMahon thought he was a good rapper. And it's like, dude, this guy, when it comes to rap, my son, speaking of my son, he could rap better. But I remember, it, it, wham, bam, bam. Here we go, doing like this. She got to, oh, no, Oscar. It wasn't Mabel bad, though. It was bad. For, yeah. No, for that time period, it wasn't too bad. And you, you're talking about Vince McMahon. You know he ain't putting on, not like Eminem was on back then, but he ain't putting on like Eminem or Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Tupac, oh. Biggie. He ain't putting on those guys. He just heard somebody that, oh, wow, right. he didn't well, that's stumble. The thing, is that Let's this use him. This was in the time where <clears throat> rap was going a little more uh, of the adult orientation. And this guy is still rapping like, uh, you know, he's still rapping like, it takes two to make a thing go. Like, he's still doing that early 90s pop rap. Not even pop rap, just that early 90s. 
he wasn't good. Anyway, um, he's memorable, though, so I'll say that. Uh, okay, so speaking of musical acts and wrestling, uh, Bill from Providence wants to know, what's your thoughts on three count? Uh, I know I love you this, love them, so I'll just say, I thought that it was a pretty good gimmick for the time. You know, it was around the time of that ba- that boy band thing. Mm-hmm. I thought three count fit for the name, but they could have even went a couple more and had like a five-man little group. But three count worked, and, and you're talking about guys that were pretty talented with uh, Shane Helms and Shane yep. Moore. Evan Courageous, not as much, but Evan Courageous had a really good look. Um, but, yeah, that I think that was a pretty good gimmick. Yeah. Um, memorable. And um, brought out Tank Sinatra. <laughs> you know, I think Three Count as a whole was a really good idea. Um, on yeah. paper, in person, they had the circle mats. Uh, I love, they came out with two different songs. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the main song was awesome. The second song wasn't too bad either. What I liked about it is you had the Nitro Girls as your side act, let's call that. Then you had Three Count. Now you had a guy group out there. So there's instant heat on them. Yeah. I think what stopped them from propelling to that next level was A, you had NWO monopolizing everything. Right. But you also had three young guys playing this role. I think if it was guys in their late 30s, in their 40s, playing those roles, that you still get the hate from the crowd, but they will be more invested in them because they may not have been able to move as quick. When these guys got in the ring and they performed, they're flying around doing all this stuff, it's like, oh, wow, but you forgot they were a boy band. I also think, too, like, you know, it was Evan Courageous, Shane Moore and Shane, um, Shane Moore and Shane Helms. Yep. And uh, I think that Evan Courageous probably thought the group was for him. And really, the other two were the biggest stars, I think. They were the better workers. And I think, obviously, if you said name three count, I think Evan Courageous would be the bottom of the three. I think everyone else could name the other two before him. See, I would go with Evan Courageous first because he was at that point I think guy. that you know I, I mean? think that it's like Jack uh, Jackson five it, who are you gonna name first the point guy I don't know I think that like he was the one as far as work I, I think I'm a courageous I don't know I don't know what I think about him overall because I think he had a very good look obviously yeah but I think he just wasn't the same I think level every, that they were at I think he was a good performer I yeah. really do I think he might have been a little more cautious with things that he did. I don't, yeah, I don't think he was as aerial. You know, genevity or whatever the hell that word is. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I think he was a little more cautious for his body to come and you, you honestly can't blame people. Yeah. We've been in rings that it's like, you know what I mean? And then especially back then too, WCW was literally put together every week. There was no consistency. There was no... so. Would you go out there mm-hmm. and kill yourself? Bottom line, Three Count was a group that you wanted to see get beat up, you know, so yeah. it, it worked. Jay from East Providence, who would be the next United States champion? Um, so I think, I, think, I think LA Knight going over. So LA Knight, I think, for me, LA Knight has kind of reached his peak. Yeah. I don't think he's ever going to be, I'm not going to say ever, Well, but I don't think he's going to be the top champion, I think, I don't think he needs a title, but I could see him being the guy that beats Paul, uh, Logan Paul. See, I think LA Knight is a guy right now that has <coughs> transitioned from a worker to a mouthpiece. Think yeah. of Miz, you know, that's what he was for so long. And I think they know with LA Knight, they can get the pops, he can tell the story, he can get out there and <clears throat> then put him in a match when needed. Um, I, you know, I, honestly, I think they're too comfortable right now with Logan Paul as and I also their champion. Think, I also think keeping him as the U.S. champ um, through his brother's fight with Mike Tyson, because you know Logan Paul is going to second his brother to the yeah. ring um, if he brings that belt with him. That's also you know a lot of people are going to. It's on Netflix yep. that fight. So and with them going to Netflix, yeah. Not only do you have yeah. that WWF I connection, but 
it's going to be like the world's going to see this guy come out with that U.S. title. So I could see him actually keeping that belt even yeah, for think. a while, even a, even a bit longer. I think So I think a couple guys for me, L.A. Knight is a guy that I could see take it. Um, I could see Carmelo Hayes. I was just going to say, I think who's going to beat Logan Paul down the line is going to be somebody that's just called up, somebody like a Kamala, you know, Hayes guy that's going to be able to shock the world. It's not going to be like a Randy Orton. Right? I wouldn't mind seeing Apollo take it as in maybe a way to rehab Apollo. They have been giving him a little more TV time. I'm not saying anytime recent now, yeah. but like down the line a little. Like maybe if they do some stuff with Apollo, but... Um, yeah, so. and most likely you're gonna hear it here. It's probably gonna be a three-way dance, and Logan Paul won't get pinned. All right, Keith from Tiverton, Rhode Island. Hey, Tiverton. Should WWE release a Johnny B. Bad figure? Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah, you could do definitely have a couple different versions of that. I mean, you could even have a little bad blast on with the company. Right. And I'm, I'm honestly surprised they haven't networked yet with Mark Merrill. Have they not released a Johnny B. Band at all? Well, they did a Johnny B. Band, the WCW version. Yeah. But for WWE, after the Jacks uh, line, they haven't done anything with Mark Merrill. They've never made a Mark Merrill at all? Because, I mean, he does a lot of great motivational speaking. And that's why I thought. The only thing I would think that I they think might maybe, not because of Brock right, right. and stuff. But supposedly, through interviews from Mark Merrill, and even Brock has said they get along really well yeah. together. So I I would think if you get Mark Merrill, you get Johnny B. Bad, you yeah. get Wild Man Mark Merrill, you get you know, Magnificent Mark Merrill. You get a lot of different versions right. that you can right. mock right. it. With Mark Merrill, you're going to get, you can release them as in the just Marvelous Mark Merrill. Yep. With the red trunks, the black trunks, silver trunks. You get Chase versions. Yeah. And um, like you said, what he does with the community. The Wild Man Mark Merrow, you can release a Wild Man Mark Merrow figure. Probably only one of them, or two, because he wore white a couple times. Yeah. But yeah, Johnny B. Bad, you can do a like good three or four. I don't know if they will, but you could do three figures out of that at least. I'm very surprised they haven't done something with him. And who knows, maybe Mark doesn't want to go down that road anymore. Maybe yeah. he wants to be separated. Could be. I mean, I'm sure it could be. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hey, Mo. How you doing, Mo? From Warwick, Rhode Island. Would Hook be a big name in WWE? Uh, we kind of talked about it a couple weeks ago. I can't remember what we show. Did. I don't know if he'd be a big name, but I think that NXT would be the place. I mean, I don't think he'd be on the main roster. Um, I think NXT would be a place for him to kind of break out over the next two years. I think that, you know, if they're given the... If if they have the okay to use anything with Taz, I, I I think I just think Hook would be right now would be best off in NXT. I think I that they've agree. developed a lot of guys recently. Then when he gets called up to the main roster, I can't speak on that. But yeah. at least in NXT, I think that he would be. I'm not going to say a big star. I think he'd be mid middle of the pack. I think if he was in NXT, they would build him up to be a big star. Because, let's face it, it's Taz's son. You're bringing him over from AEW. That's competition, so you're going to make him big. And everybody already is over on him. No. Nothing against him. Nothing against Taz. I don't see the hype that he truly has that's just from it. the day they he were got out to, the I mean, door. Well, that's just it, is that they were able to hype that up. I've even said, like, you know I agree I mean? with you there, but being there live, and when that hook light came up, I was just like, oh, I mean, they've been able to take someone and package him in a way to where, you know, number one, that's he, good. he could be kind of cool when he comes out with his chips or whatever, or when they do the hook light. I think that they've been able to package someone in a way to hype him up. I think, I think they've done a good job with that. Yeah, I don't think he'll be big in WWE in um, the main rosters. I think it's definitely NXT. All right, Tony from East Providence, Rhode Island. I gotta learn, like they say, East Providence, North Providence, Providence, and Providence. But there's no so, South and West. Well, there's a South Prov. All right, there's no West though. No West. All right. <laughs> they didn't want to get greedy. No, no West Side. They didn't want. All right. So here's a, there's a West Side, <laughs> just not West Providence. Here's an interesting question. Will Jim Ross <coughs> ever go back to WWE? Um, he's in the Hall of Fame, right? Yeah. I don't think so. Then. Um, 
I, I think that he has – is he still technically in AEW or is he's he – He's still on the contract, but he's not doing – Yeah. So much, and I, what I've is he, heard seventies now. Yeah, I heard once his contract's up, he's thinking about, you know, stepping away. Um, yeah. I, he's got so many health issues that he's right. been dealing with. Um, I, his I, wife passing it really gets to him. Yeah, I don't see a purpose of mm, him like a scooter accident, right? And she hit her head. It was something, something I don't, like I don't remember the exact details yeah. with it. Uh, me personally, I don't see. A reason for him to come back to WWE. No. You know what I mean? I could see maybe coming back for one, like a match. Maybe one match. Like they brought him back for Undertaker's match. Yeah. I could see maybe, not not that John Cena, because John Cena. I was just going to say, maybe for I don't think they would. I don't think, you know, I don't think that John Cena's career and Jim Ross's career, I don't think you think of that. But like. But what if you had Jim Ross and Jerry the King calling? His final match. I mean, they, they, I don't know, because isn't Jerry Lawler also... I mean, these guys, you got to think about it. These guys are in their 70s, and they're punch drunk, basically. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> you were doing so they're trying good. to be nice about it. But <laughs> you were doing so no. good. So the answer is just, I don't think I could see him coming back. Again, uh, at most, to come back and do some documentary, talking head type stuff on, Probably on that. films and stuff. Maybe call one match, but as a special thing, but not on a full-time or even yeah. a part-time basis. Yeah. Do we, do we, we could try to get maybe one more. In, which we'll we'll say, pick do we have more time? We'll, we'll try to get one more. We'll, watch, we'll pick the one that needs like 18 hours. We do that quite often. Yeah. All right, let's see. Pat from East Province, Rhode Island. Is it hard to be a referee? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, people, I th- people don't think about it, but a referee is just as integral in a match as people, sometimes even more so. Um, they, they um, this probably ain't the best question for this because there's so much to say about refs. Um, they have to, number one, you have to, just alone, you have to know where to stand. You have to know where the, the hard camera is. You can't be, you know, have your back to it. You don't want to be blocking it. So just on that alone, you got to know where to stand. And people might think it's just, I'm just counting one, two, three. I don't want to either. I don't want to break kayfabe too much yeah. either. But um, that's why it's kind of. It, you know what? The best thing to to answer this question. Yes. Look at guest referees from a normal wrestler right. that's in there. Watch how they perform, and then watch how a referee performs. That's a good. And answer. that's going to explain how important it is for referees. And job. then when they bring in someone like a Muhammad Ali or a Mike Tyson, even better. And they're just. Outside the ring refs because yeah. they can't. They can't. You know. Yep. So but it, yeah, it ref, is very hard. It's very is, yeah. They are one of the most is important jobs. So much different now than say like 1982 ref. Yeah. You know, a referee is so much is so much more now part of that mat. It really is. If you're doing a, just a one on one, it really is at that, that point important. a three person act. You know. Excellent questions. Keep sending them in because without you guys, we can't have this show. Um, and we thank you guys for taking the time to do that. Make sure you check out all the shows that we put on for you guys because it's something awesome. Check out our YouTube channel off the official wrestlingmuseum.com for all your wrestling needs as well, too. Anything else you want to add in? No. <laughs> no? You're all good? Yeah. He's all good. He's got to hit the road to get his kid. We want to thank you guys very much. And uh, you know what they say? You write the questions. And we get the answers. See you next week.